forget anything. Did you ever want to cut away a piece of your memory or blot it out? You can't, you know, no matter how hard you try. Mr. Haskell, what's the matter? Are you hurt? Are you hurt, Mr. Haskell? That's life. Whichever way you turn, fate sticks out a foot to trip you. Sure, three bucks, three hundred. It was a piece of cheese, a big blow. Listen, mister, don't try and tell me anything about Charlie Haskell. Remember, I knew him better than you did. I pounded the piano in there every night from eight until the place closed up. So when this drunk handed me a ten spot after a request, I couldn't get very excited. What was it, I asked myself? A piece of paper crawling with germs. Then I thought of something. Hello, Sue? This is Al. You're working as a hashlinger? Gee, honey, that's tough. Those guys out in Hollywood don't know the real thing when it's right in front of them. Look, I'll tell you what. You stay put out there, I'll come to you. I'll be there if I have to crawl. If I have to travel by pogo stick. Yeah. Bye. Ever done any hitchhiking? Yeah, it's not much fun, believe me. If only I had known what I was getting into that day in Arizona. Here, throw that in the back seat. Mr. Haskell. Mr. Haskell. As I drove off, it was still raining. And the drops streaked down the windshield like tears. Near the airport at Desert Center, I pulled up for water. There was a woman. Man, she looked as if she'd just been thrown off the crummiest freight train in the world. Then suddenly, she turned to face me. Where did you leave this body? Where did you leave the owner of this car? You're not fooling anyone. I don't like you. You hurt me. A couple of days ago, you didn't have a dime. Why, you were so broke, you couldn't pay cash for a postage stamp. There's a cute little gas chamber waiting for you, Roberts. And I hear extradition to Arizona's a cinch. Vera, let me in. I'll break the phone. I'm going to bed. I hate you. <laughs>